Hello Lava friends, in the last video I showed you Lava Livewire and today I have something else which kind of sits on top of Livewire called Vault. So Vault is a package that lets you write Livewire component in a specific modern way. What about we check it out together? So this is Vault's documentation page inside Livewire. And we have a little reminder here, get comfortable with Livewire first, which is a good idea because it will help you when using Vault. Okay, so what is Vault about? There are two things. First, we have, we have it here, elegantly crafted functional API for Livewire. So we write Livewire components, but in a very specific way. And then we have single file components. So everything is within one file. So here's an example. We have at the top, we have our PHP code. And at the bottom, we have our template code, all within one file. And the template code looks very similar to what we already know from the Livewire. But this PHP here stuff, this function here, this is new because this is not a functional way of doing things. But we're going to take a look at the component that we already wrote with Livewire the last time. This little search here for our products of the ecosystem, where I can just search for something like Forge or Vapor, and I'll get a result. Let's take a look how we built this in traditionally Livewire way. So what this looks like is first we have this class on the backend side. We have a search property which gets filled and we have a random method to return our view file and our products based on the search. And then on the template side of things, let's bring this in here. We have our template, we have our input for the search. And then later down here, we are looping through all of our products here. So, and this is how we get the result. But now we want to do the same just with Vault. Okay, the way we're going to do this is by creating a new Vault component. I've already installed Vault, so you can directly go PHP Addison and make Vault. And then let's give it a name. Let's start with Vault, so we know it's our new component here. And we use the class flag here, so that we use the class version first. You will see what that means in a minute. Let's open this up here. Here it is. All right, so on the PHP side, we now have this anonymous class here. So it's more similar to what we already did before. Okay, so let's bring up the class and let's see how we can bring this to life. So this is what we had before. Okay, the property, we can just copy and bring it in here as well. Let's type it so that PHP Storm is happy. Um, but yeah, the random method now is different because we don't have a random method because it's clear we return just a template down here. So um, we don't need the random method, but we need to provide our products, which we did here in this random method. And there's an, uh, another way we can do this with a method called with. So public function with. And yeah, this just basically returns an array similar to what we had before. Let's bring this in here. And this is the same. Let's also import the namespace. Let's add a re um, return type here, which is an array. So this basically does the same, but we don't need the render method anymore. And I think this should already be it. We have our property, we have our with method, we have our template, so nothing changes there. So, oh yeah, the template we are missing here. Let's copy this one here, everything, and let's bring this into our new component here. Yeah, we forgot about that. Let's bring this in here. We don't need to change anything here. It should work like it did before. So um, I guess we should be able to give it a try now. Let's switch back to the browser, refresh, and oh, we forgot something. Inside our um, blade file here, we need to bring in our new component because we're using the old one. So let's bring this in here and now refresh and try again. Can we search for Forge? Yes, we can. Vapor and Warrior. Yes, so this is still working. So we have switched our component here to a vault one, which I think is pretty cool. But now I think it's also nice to take a look at how we can do this with the functional API. So this means we are going to get rid of our class here and we now try something new. So first we need to have our property without a class and we can do this with the state method of um, Livewire Vault. So here we only can provide an array. We only need to provide an array and it's called search similar like before and by default it's empty. So this is the same as our properties of the class. And the second thing that we needed is um, the with method which now there is also a function for this, which we can use. So with, and I'm not sure which one it is, let's just copy the namespace here and rename this. This should do it as well. 
here with and now we are going to add a closure here, short closure, and we're only going to need to provide an array similar to our method from before. Let's bring this in and here we go. I think this also should be it. So we have our state method where we define our property. We have the with method to make sure that with every render of our page, we get our product. And that's it. Refresh. Let's try it out. And voya, yeah, it's still working. So yeah, we've now um, created a new um, functional way for our world component, which also works, which I think is pretty cool. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many other things you can do with Vault. So make sure to check out the documentation for um, more advanced components. Yeah, we have attributes here as well. So yeah, there's much more for you to discover. So yeah, please check that out as well. If you haven't tried Vault yet, please give it a look. It's another great tool from our ecosystem. Have fun. Bye.